The state's child welfare agency is facing hard questions from its oversight board following a King 5 investigation. The Department of Children, Youth and Families is promising to make some immediate changes in how it cares for hard to place foster children. Our after hours investigation showed what some social workers say is mistreatment of foster kids at DCYF offices and Chris Ingalls is joining us live in our newsroom with today's developments. Chris. Hi, Jessica. Today is the first time that DCYF secretary has made substantive comments since our story exposed questionable conditions for foster kids at DCYF offices and dangerous conditions for staff there. Is there glass in your hand? Yeah. Why do you want to do that? We used police body cam videos obtained through a public records request to show how the system often fosters chaos. Why would you Shut fall on camera? Admit to it. Are you slow? During the after hour shifts at the Department of Children, Youth and Families offices. I'm sorry, I'm just emotional about it no, because you're fine. he's never been like that towards me ever. Okay. State social workers caring for behaviorally challenged kids in the middle of the night, sometimes assaulted, sometimes unable to control the kids in their care. At DCYF's Kent office, social workers have called the police 200 times in the last 18 months. I don't know what to do. They're not, they have not committed a crime. They're just being unruly. What we're finding is that the police, which has been our last resort, are not helpful. Uh, you saw that in that video that on King 5 this week. This afternoon, DCYF Secretary Ross Hunter pledged to his overnight staff that help is on the way. Well, we're going to have to provide some a quick response staff that can deal with escalating situations and de-escalate them. I was uh, DCYF aware of any complaints about workers depriving children of basic necessities before the King Five story aired. Uh, no. Secretary Hunter faced nearly two hours of questioning from DCYF's oversight board following our investigative series after hours. In one story, we showed how uncooperative foster kids are forced to sleep on floors in DCYF offices and sometimes even in state cars. We provided very clear direction to our field staff that having children sleep in cars is, is not an accepted practice. We don't do it. But several social workers have told us supervisors order them to do it. Deanna Ginter, who left DCYF last month, says it happens when a kid refuses placement at a foster home or group home and won't get out of the car. We're often told to make the kid really uncomfortable. We're told to blast the air conditioning if it's cold outside, um, make the you know, make sure the kid doesn't fall asleep, wake them up every 10 minutes if they fall asleep. In response to the King Five story, we are now kind of expanding our systemic investigation to include interviews of after-hour workers and children and youth. DCYF's Ombuds is investigating. For six years now, the Ombuds has tracked the rising use of hotel rooms and office stays for kids, mostly teens, that the department can't place in treatment or in foster homes. Hunter was asked why, with so much funding and focus on the issue over the years, the problem is getting worse. This is on me um, in not responding aggressively enough early enough. So one of the social workers you saw in that story, Deanna Ginter, who quit DCYF just a few weeks ago, spoke to the oversight board during the public comments session today. She said what Secretary Hunter said simply is not true. She said kids do sleep in cars. Some offices don't have bedding and are unprepared for overnight stays. Previously, the Ombuds office looked into these complaints and interviewed only high level managers. Now they're talking to social workers and kids and hearing a different story. We'll let you know as soon as we hear the results of the investigation and what DCYF plans to do to solve these long-standing problems involving some foster kids. I'm Chris Ingalls, live in the King 5 Newsroom.